All right, in this video, we will be looking at volume and total surface area uh, of complex shapes. We are going on to a different type of complex shape, this one being a block with a hole in it. So what we're looking at here is a block. I'm going to use a square here with a hole drilled right the way through it. So we're going to start off with our same standard general formulas volume equals area of base times height and total surface area is two times area of base plus perimeter of base times height where this gets a bit different we need to take once again the shaded part that will need to be split up we're going to have a square with the circle cut out of it all right if they give you a square hole then just use a square instead uh, and then we've also got our area of base, which we can repeat in both of our calculations. Now, this one's a little bit different. I'm just gonna take a look at the split up view here. I'm looking at it from the front. We've got the hole cut in the block here. So that would be the shaded part there. And this just shows from the left and the right that the hole goes all the way through. This causes a bit of a complication because if you think about it, we have a perimeter here of this base but because we've cut a hole in it we've got another perimeter so we actually have two perimeters here that means that i need to modify my whole approach to this because there is an area inside here that needs to be included if you were to take something and drill a hole in it you can stick your finger into it or a pencil or something and feel that surface so this increases the surface area of my block. Uh, this explains the reason why if you're trying to make a radiator or something or uh, a cooler for a computer they've got fins on it it increases the surface area of the block so that more energy or more heat can leave it. Same thing with your lungs it's got lots of little holes in it because it gives you a lot more surface area. That's just a practical example of this. Anyway so that means that what I'm looking at is a completely different situation here. I can still work out the area of the base, but it's going to be a little bit more tricky. So my area of my base is going to be length times breadth minus pi r squared, which is the area of the circle. All right? I've got the diameter and the radius both highlighted for you. Remember, diameter gives you the edge to edge going through the center, whereas the radius is just from the center point through to an edge. Please make sure that you're only using the radius for these calculations. We don't want to get ourselves confused. Also remember, anytime we're working with circles, 90% of the time or 99% of the time, you are going to be getting a value for pi. Use that value and not the one on your calculator. All right. So my, that's my area of my base. Remember, the perimeter of your circle will be 2 pi r. With that taken into account, we're going to take a look at my modified total surface area formula. So I've put in all of the calculations there. I've got two times the area of the base, which is length times breadth minus two, oh, just minus two, oh, not two, minus pi r squared plus, and then side one plus side two plus side three plus side four, or just four times the length of the side if it's a square, times height, which will give me the perimeter of my square block and then I need to add the perimeter of my circle times height so 2 pi r plus oh, times h all right altogether that would give you the total surface area for this block all right hopefully this is helpful and we'll be looking at some more complex ones in the next video thank you